The NBA draft is upon us, and there are only a couple of considerations for the top overall pick. While it seems clear the Suns are going to pick DeAndre Ayton out of Arizona, the one European star coming over this year definitely merits consideration for that top slot. Not only is Luka Doncic one of the most skilled players in the draft, with a nice jump shot and extraordinary court vision wrapped in an athletic 6'8 body, but he has also played for new Suns coach Igor Kokoskov on the Slovenian national team and knows how to get the most out of his game, and there's plenty to get out of it. First off, he's got a nice stroke, and his mechanics and rhythm indicate to me that he'll be a good shooter. Although his percentage overall isn't where it should be, I sense once he gets used to the NBA game and gets more experience, he'll be solid. But he's also got the knack for hitting big shots, the type that are clutch, improvised, and under great duress. He's got a great handle and can maneuver in tight spaces, particularly to find his own shot. If teams in the NBA decide to guard him with a smaller player, he'll be able to elevate over them and be a real headache of a matchup since he can get by bigger players if they decide to go that route. What makes him so much fun to watch is his passing ability, as he's a willing facilitator and has a certain flair to many of his passes that will both serve to get easy buckets and ignite the crowd. With Real Madrid, he got tons of pick and roll, and this experience in the second best league in the world as a 19-year-old will do wonders for him once he gets on an NBA floor. He's dangerous at pulling up from three after finding some separation from a good ball screen, and he'll make you pay if you go under the screen and dare him to shoot it from distance. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve to get his defenders off balance and out of position with great touch in the mid-range and the height to get them off. His floater game is very mature for someone so young and something he's going to need against NBA big men who can get up in a hurry. His footwork is also very good as we've seen his command of the post up down low, something that will make NBA teams excited about since he can come down and run a pick and roll one possession and then get low post position and score in the block on the next. He's still refining the speed of his feet and balance and explosion, but there's no doubt with more work with American strength and conditioning coaches, unlocking more flexibility in his hips and explosion in his legs, he'll become an absolute beast down there. We have to remember that he's still so young that for every nice move, he'll have a head-scratching one that ends up in a turnover or a terrible shot with bad footwork. But again, there's enough evidence of positive plays to expect he'll continue to do more of them. Defensively, he's very active and puts out a lot of effort. He's got issues with lateral quickness, and that will also improve with better strength work in the U.S. But he can guard smaller players, give them an extra step or two, knowing that his height enables him to recover and challenge jump shots into misses. I think the thing that impresses me most is his poise and aggression. For someone so young to be commanding the ball, creating shots out of isolations, and for his veteran teammates to allow him to do this, speaks volumes about Doncic's ability and promise. He won MVP of the Final Four last month as he led Real Madrid to a title, and that kind of experience will only harden him even more to the rigors of the NBA. I'm sure he'll struggle a bit with his speed and athleticism, but so will every other rookie. But his upside, with his size and skill, is immense and will no doubt justify his lottery status. And while Aiton may end up being some sort of monster along the lines of Joel Embiid, Doncic could be the guy who you build a winning franchise around for a decade. Sports fans, make sure to hit the subscribe button and adjust your settings so you can get notified immediately when we drop another great NBA video. Let us know how you feel with a thumbs up and a comment. After all, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win.